everyone, Jodie here from Kavale Health. I've created this short video to demonstrate my favorite six Pilates exercises using the resistance band. And the great thing about this video is these exercises, we're not gonna be on the knees and we're not gonna be putting our weight on the shoulders. So it's all gonna be in a seated position and the last exercise will be just lying down. So let's begin with a couple of gentle stretches first before we use our band. So I want you to move in a seated position with your legs bent. So always keep the legs bent and just protect around your lower back. Now we'll just start with the stretches first before we start with our first Pilates exercise. So in the seated position, let's just take the arms back and breathing in, sweep up with the arms, lift your spine, you can look up. And then exhale, gently fold over the legs. Just a gentle stretch. Take your arms behind and then breathing in, sweeping up, lift the spine, open. Exhale, gently resting over your bent legs. One more, breathing in, sweeping up. And then exhale, folding down. One more lift, breathing in. We're gonna move into a twist. Exhale, gently twist to one side. So you can have the hand behind the hip and the other hand just resting around the knee or the thigh somewhere. Just looking over the shoulder, drop your shoulders. Just take a couple of deep breaths. So we're just warming up your body, especially around your back. And then come back to center. One more lift, inhale, open the spine more. Exhale, twisting to your other side. Couple more breaths, relax. And then coming back to center. So we're gonna sit up, grab your band, and we are gonna do the first exercise. Placing the band around the feet. So now your band is around the feet, open it up. Keep the legs bent. We're gonna do a very slow roll back, just halfway. So before we start these, I want you to engage with your core by drawing your navel to spine and the pelvic floor is squeezing, a gentle lift there of the perineum. Relax our shoulders, relax your hand grip. So when you're ready, lift the tailbone up first and just a gentle rolling back, exhaling and then inhaling, come back up. Contracting in your belly, exhale, curling back gently and then coming up. So just continue rolling back. Exhale, switching on the core. Inhale up. So if your back is good and you're stronger, you can lean back more with me. If you're a beginner, just stay up a little more. Inhale up. Scoop in the lower belly and then exhale, roll back. Inhale up, so continue here. So with these six exercises, you can do the last one and then replay this video and do the whole sequence again like a little circuit. Exhale, curling back. So just be aware you're not feeling any discomfort in your lower back. Relax our hand grip to help relax around the wrists, the shoulders and neck. You can rest any time, remember. Keep scooping in the lower belly, we're squeezing the pelvic floor. And coming up and we'll finish with our first exercise, getting ready for the second one. So here's my third favorite Pilates exercise. We're gonna twist and then pull one arm only. So two actions. You can go wider with your legs. Remember, keep your knees bent. Relax your hand grip. Now, if you're a strong student, you lean back. I'll just demonstrate sitting up. So let's go to the left first. So engage with your core. Twist a little to the left. And then pull left arm only right back. Breathing, come back to center. Exhale, twist to the right, 
and pull the right arm back. Center, so keep going. Twist from your lower ribs. So look at your knees and keep your knees the same level. So if one knee is going lower like this than the other, it means you're moving your hips. So we wanna avoid that. Keep those hips really still. Exhale, twist from the lower rib cage, then pull that one arm right back. Those of you stronger, you can lean back more and maybe touch the ground with your elbow. Relax your shoulders, twist, arm pull, and center. So again, you might wanna stop the video and do more of these. I'm just demonstrating. Scoop in that belly, exhale, twist, and pull. And come back to center, you can lift up and just relax there. And we're gonna get ready for number four. So let's get ready for number four. Still keep your legs where they are. We are going to wrap the band around the upper back. So around behind the chest, and we're gonna do some chest presses to work the chest, the front shoulders, and the triceps. So wrap your band around the chest now. Now I'm gonna fold my end so it makes the band a little bit shorter, so it's tighter. You can keep your elbows up, or you can keep your elbows in, depending on how your shoulders are. Beginners, you can just stay upright with your spine like this, or if you're stronger, you can lean back and work your core even more. Okay, so I'll demonstrate the easy one just sitting upright. So let's still switch on the core. Exhale, push your arms out in front like you're doing a little chest press. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, stretch your arms in front, lift your chest. And then inhale back. So keep going everyone. I'm going to turn around and just demonstrate facing you. So ready, exhale, straighten the arms. Inhale, come back in. Still engage with your core. Exhale, chest press. So again, you can choose to have your elbows in and you can choose to have your band looser. Exhale, push out. Inhale in. So keep going everyone. Maybe just take a rest, pause and do more. And then we can get ready for the fifth Pilates exercise. Okay, so now you're ready for number five and we're gonna do like a balancing boat hold with the band around our feet. So grab your band, walk your feet in nice and close, place your band around the feet. Feet are close to those hips. Hold a bit closer to your feet and relax your hand grip. So before we lift the feet, engage your core. Now, if you're a beginner, sensitive backs, you might only just lift the feet up for a couple of seconds and then come down. But just you be extra cautious. Keep your feet low and you rest more. The rest of us, we can lift the feet up. So low feet, halfway. Or you can do straight legs. If you're a stronger student, we can hold the legs a little bit straighter. Lift from your lower back, work that inner core deeply, and you breathe. And we'll come down really slowly. You can just stretch over your legs. Take a couple of breaths and we'll do another one. Again, put me on pause and do as many as you want. So I'm gonna walk my feet in again. Relaxing my hand grip, relax my shoulders and neck. Just lean a little bit back, take your feet off the ground low. Remember, squeeze your belly halfway. Or straighter legs if you're more flexible and have strong core and back. Five, four, three, two, one, come down. So remember, I'm just demonstrating, just short demonstrating. And you put your band down, do a little stretch over your legs, and we'll get ready. So now let's get ready for number six, which is going to be our bridges, holding our bridge and arm pulls. So grab your band, just rest it over your upper thighs, legs bent. You can use your hands to really slowly and safely lie down on your back. 
Check your feet are straight and go back hip width. Place the band over the thighs. Arms are going to be straight, wrists. Pressing through those heels evenly, activate your core. Let's lift our buttocks up and squeeze it. Lift your chest. Now keep those arms straight and wrists. We're going to pull down with our arms. So the band is now tight. Go as high as you can with the hips and chest. Pulling down, we can do little pulses going up and down with the arms. Or you can hold still. 10, 9, 8, 7. Squeeze those arms too. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come down. Let's do one more. These are one of my favourite buttocks exercises and the arms at the same time. So engage your core, especially pelvic floor, curling up the tailbone first, lift, pressing down the heels evenly, go as high as you can, then make the band tight, pull down your arms, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come down really slowly, upper back, middle, lower. Take your band out, bring your knees in, one knee up first, follow the other knee, just be gentle, maybe just knees over the hips if your back is sensitive, or you bring your knees up a little higher. Take some breaths into your back. So from here, let's take our feet down really slowly. You can go wide feet, close feet. Let's do some twisting to finish. The arms can just go out to the sides, low arms or halfway or over the head. And then just rolling the knees side to side. Nice gentle twist. You can close your eyes, breathe in center, breathing out twist. Or you might want to just hold still. Just gently releasing around the lower back. Come back to center now. We're going to get ready to come up. So just roll on the side and make your way to. So I hope you're all feeling good. You can repeat the video again and do as much as you can. So all those six exercises are pretty much working the whole body. And remember, resistant bands come in different levels, different grades. So if you'd like to learn a little bit more about uh, the resistance band or Pilates small balls, maybe try one of my live stream uh, Pilates classes you can do at home. I teach Tuesdays and Thursday mornings at 9 o'clock and also a Tuesday night at 6 o'clock. Thursday night at 6 is also a blend of yoga and Pilates and Saturday morning at 8.30 I do yoga and a Pilates uh, mixed class. So thanks everyone, we'd love to hear from you. Bye.